Hello everyone, this is NS Cupcake here and I would like to go over Black Canary's changes for the August update and she got a few buffs and the moves above her head are the ones that got buffed. So first things first, we're going to go through no turning back, 112, just this string. And what happens to this string is that it has several uh, less frames of recovery which means that if you whip this move she recovers a lot faster so missing this attack the chances of you being punished for it it's a little bit less than before it's gonna be a little more strict to punish this move because seven frames less recovery so miss this move you have a chance to survive you won't get hit you will but not as often as before because before she got left out in the open when she misses the third hit for like an hour you can go back make a sandwich come back still punish her it's a little bit faster, so it's, uh, chances of punishing it is a little bit lower. Next is uh, the move has five more frames of block stun and increased pushback on block, which means that if you block this move, you get pushed back a little bit more than before. You'll see at least some distance. And there's five more frames of block stun, which means that when the opponent blocks his attack, it's going to be a little more strict to take advantage of these negative two frames that she has. So she's negative two if she does this, but there's five more frames of block stun, so taking advantage of of the uh, taking advantage of the negative two frames will be a little more strict. You have to have more timing to it now. And that's what happened to this move. Next is new wings, which is the throw that comes after 112. Before this used to be a, a mid, so it used to be a physical attack that could be blocked. Now it can't be blocked, as you can see around block it says NA. So this is a real throw now, and the the double-edged sword to this now is that it can be ducked. See, it can be ducked now, so she can be punished for it. So you have to be very careful when it comes to, to chucking this out there. Now, now is a free, uh, a real throw. It's most likely going to be used in situations like in juggle situations. The next move. Oh yeah, one more thing. Before I go to the next move, this move actually has a damage buff, so it hits a little bit, a little bit harder than before. A little bit harder than before. Yeah, 17. Next move is Soaring High, which is her low starter. Back one, two. What happened to this move is that this move got a damage buff. Pretty good damage buff. Hits a little harder. And the move is also negative four. So the risk and reward is in her favor. When you block this, she doesn't get punished for it. She loses her turn because it's negative, but she, she gets good damage out of it, and she's safe. Um, also, this move has also 5 more frames of block stun, increased pushback on block. So, like I said, with the 112 string, it's the same concept. 5 more frames of block stun, more pushback. So, when it comes to taking advantage of these negative frames, it's going to be... They have to be a little more precise and they have to account for the distance they have to travel to get to you since there's more more pushback to this move but overall she is safe and the move is better than before the next one is uh high heel which is standing three and holding back which is standing three three standing three itself has five more frames of block stun and increased pushback on block same concept as I said before, self-explanatory at this point. This move is negative three. She tucked that out there. More pushback, more block stun, same thing, same concept. Three three is plus three on block, which is advantageous. And this move has the one less recovery frame now. So it has one less recovery frame, 10 more frames of block stun. So the block stun is even more now. So it's going to be a, uh, a lot more, you have to be a lot more precise after blocking this uh, attack 
of the decision that you're going to make. You got to be more precise now uh, with your inputs. Also, this uh, recovers one frame less, so you miss this attack. She recovers a little bit faster than before. Not too big, but less recovery is better anyway. Now, the last two that got changed was the front handspring and the back handspring. What got changed was the flying scissor kick and the flying thrust kick. What happened to the flying scissor kick and the flying thrust kick is that the scissor kick has three uh, three frames faster recovery, recovers three frames faster now, has increased pushback on block. Now this move, the flying scissor kick, is negative 16 on block, so you will be punished for it. But with the increased pushback, with the recovery frames uh, being a little better, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit harder. Still, uh, high, at high levels, the punishment will still come, but they have to be, again, more precise. So now with uh, the front handspring, this right here, so she recovers a lot faster than before. She gets up like almost right away. Before she with this attack, she stayed on the floor for a while. Like the recovery is really bad. So now if you miss this attack, you get up pretty fast. So punishing with punishing this move will be a little more a little more tougher, but it seems that it, it's still likely to happen high level. Also, the the pushback. Let's see, yeah, it has more pushback to it. See, this is where she lands at. Has a little more pushback. So uh, they might have to use some some cases. Some characters might have to use forward advancing moves to accommodate for the distance they have to travel to get to her. But nonetheless, it's negative 16. But you you have a you have a better chance. You have a better chance of surviving after block after this move gets blocked now it's the same concept for back hamstring because she can do uh, scissor kick off of both versions the forward and the back version same thing same concept lastly the last move which is thrust kick which is this right here this move is safe negative six on block probably moves that are six frames can be punished with a six frame reversal most likely but from normals it's safe from normals, can't be punished. It most likely has to be punished in a special case. But overall, it's overall safe. But now this move has four more frames of recovery. It, it uh, Four frames less recovery actually uh, recovers faster. And 15 more frames of block stun. So you gotta be more precise if you're gonna take your, uh, take initiative on the, the negative frames that she has after you block this attack and she recovers a lot faster so let me show you the recovery so she recovers almost instantly like she blocks almost instantly so this move is, might be slightly challenging to punish now or if not even very challenging due to the way she recovers now so missing this attack Missing this attack, the risk, the risk for missing it is much, much lower now. Fifteen more frames of block stun. Yes. So this is uh, Black Canary's changes overall, and uh, the summary is that she is a safer character now. So a lot of her moves cannot be punished. Um, taking advantage of her negative frames because she has a lot of negative moves. She has a lot of negative moves, but now taking advantage of these negative moves, the ones that got changed, will be slightly more challenging now because of the pushback buffs and the recovery buffs and the block stun buffs. So she still she still gives up her turn a lot, but now it's it's more about how precise are you when it comes to taking advantage of this fact and with these changes i feel like black canary is a is a much better character than what she used to be in the previous update so she can probably take more risk probably add a different meta to her, to her style now and most likely we could probably see more 
Black Canary players in tournament and casually now. So she's a, she's a, a little better than before. But this is Black Canary changes and and that's Cupcake talking. See you guys. Thanks for watching.